Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got two completion reviews to show you today. And do you remember this one? Uh, these were both sent to me by the lovely people at fgnormal.com. Uh, do go and check out their website and all the fantastic special offers they've got at the moment. Uh, but yeah, look at this. I couldn't wait to get this one done. Um, yeah, it was definitely to the map or top of my pile, even during my Easter things. But yeah, it's got hot pink hearts on it. What can I say? But look, this is the one that had the little teeny tiny pink and white hearts there. Those gems there. Look, never seen those before. Absolutely love them. But it is so spectacular, this. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put him. Um, I think I'm going to have to make Owl Corner slightly different. Um, Owl Corner is mainly pictures on the wall, which... I think I need to get one uh, corner now that has somewhere to stand things as well because I've got that lovely little owl tree and I want this one to go near it. But I want to be able to see it because it's just so magnificent. The expression on this owl's face, it's definitely, I love you, with a passion. Look at that and all these pink hearts and the colours of it, you know, and then these little flowers look made up of the yellow AB gems, really do sparkle and look like little flowers. And it's just like your um, seven gems around in a circle with one in the middle, just to make up that little flower. And then this gorgeous heart at this side. So yeah, he's gorgeous. And I love the way they've got like the light coming from this side. So it's all radiating out from that heart. So you've got the dark colours at that side. So you've got like your goldy colours going then to your bronzy colours and your slightly deeper colours at that side. Very clever, charted really, really well. And it's a lovely big size as well. I mean, I've got big hands, but yeah, this is a really good one. And it's got its lovely little thick base as well. Let me just grab my tweezers and we'll get these cover sheets off this one so we can see it properly. Yeah. Or not see it as the case may be, because you tend to find that when you take the uh, cover sheets off the uh, clear yeah. acrylic, they disappear. <laughs> So, yeah, if you ever feel um, your piece of acrylic and you think, has it got a cover sheet or not? If it feels slightly rough, then it has got a cover sheet on because your acrylic will always be completely smooth with no texture at all. So even though this one looks as though there is no cover on this, there is because you can feel the roughness of the texture on it. Let me just get in there and just give that a peel. Oh, I love that sound. Oop. <laughs> they tend to be very, very staticky as well when you take them off. So, yeah, look, it's disappeared now. Can you see it on the desk? Woo! <laughs> and then there is a big cover sheet on the back of the owl as well. So let's get this off. Just give that a little tweak in the corner and give it a little pull from that side. Wow. So now, look at that. All the little hearts and all the little bits around the edges look as though they're floating because there's nothing in the background. So, I mean, to be fair, this could actually go on a wall because the base, um, well, the, the bit that goes into the stand uh, actually is clear. If you put that on a wall, and I've done this with quite a few of my bunny ones uh, for Easter, I've actually put them on the wall rather than actually um, having them in the stands, then it will look like the picture. Nobody will really notice this clear part at the bottom. So this actually might go on the wall. Hmm. I'll let you know when I decide where I've put it and I'll let you see it. But yeah, that is just glorious. Absolutely. The colours, the hot pink with that lovely aqua blue, that turquoisey blue is just gorgeous. Really love that. So you can put him in his stand. It's not a problem. That's the stamp. Oh, yeah, it has got a hole in it. Sometimes um, you will find that the little bit of acrylic is still in the stand. This one's playing me up. Look, because I'm on camera, they sometimes don't play you up. That's it. It's gone in now. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the, it is sometimes left in there. So sometimes you just need to push it out with your tweezers or whatever. But this one's fine. But look, he'll stand up. Gorgeous. Love the owl. Gotta love an owl. And this one's the gems left over. I don't think we had any of the special double heart ones. No, so we've got the pink hearts. We've got the little round. They're really good. Look, 
bright pink on one side, like a bubblegum pink, and then your little star stamped into them. Oh, we have got some left over. Yay. There was no gem codes on these, though, so... Oh, now then, do I put those in pink or white? I think I'll have to go in pink. <laughs> so, so far, these are all pink specials. We had the lemon AB and the white AB. And then these are just all standard crystals. Uh, we've got some blue there. And again, standard crystal. Look at all that hot pink left over. <gasps> wow. Lovely. But these will all go into my donation box because... They've not got tech numbers on them and uh, yeah, I will just donate those because I do have quite a lot of them. Okay, so that's, that will go into my log book as well. So that's a few to kit down there and they will go into my ABs. Let me just put the lid back on uh, this now. Right, did anybody see where I put it? <laughs> oh, it's there. <laughs> oh no, it's just fallen down the crack in my desk. <laughs> it's gone on the floor. I will retrieve that in a moment. All right, let me just pop those to one side over there. And then we'll have a look at this. Now, this um, is one of those, it's supposed to be like an armrest cover. So, you know, like for your, even your chair in your craft room, if you can get it on. Sometimes they've got like open arms that you can use it on. I wonder if my new one will have it. I've got a new one coming. Yay. Uh, or you could use it on a visor in a car. Somebody did suggest that maybe it might dazzle a little bit if you put it in a car. Uh, and somebody then said, I don't think it'd be very comfortable to lean on. To be fair, other than the larger gems that are just in the middle there, it is very flat. Um... And I don't think it would be particularly uncomfortable. I have sealed this one. The owl does... Have I sealed the owl? Oh, I have sealed the owl as well. I've sealed both of them. Wow, that's efficient of me. I've sealed them before. I've shown you the kitting down. Heck, I must have been having a good day that day. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I don't think it's that uncomfortable. No, it's not. It's not like you've got something sticking into you. It's just a texture, really. So, yeah, uh, somebody also asked, will it melt? Will the glue melt if it's in a hot car? Which obviously we're coming up to, well, hopefully our spring and summer. You never know in this country. Uh, we could get snow again and be in the middle of winter. But anyway, um, so I am going to use this one in the car and I will let you know because I have sealed it, as I say. So it would be interesting to see whether the sealer um actually does melt whether the gems do start moving if it gets really really hot or i suppose i could always put it in our conservatory because it gets really hot in there as well but i will let you know on that because it is something i try not to buy things that i'm not either going to put up or use um or gift to somebody because you know i just don't have the room if i'm honest <laughs> She says with a great big box of stuff um, that I've just sorted out. Video coming up of all my completed items. Goodness me, I've got so many. Um, but, you know, I do like to think I'm going to be using things. So I do want to give this a go. And if it does um, work okay in the car or work okay on my chair in my craft room, if I'll have to wait and see what my new chair looks like. Mm. then I may order another one so that I've got a matching pair um, because I don't want two different ones. I want two of the same. But yes, this one's hot pink and aqua. Yes. Uh, um, actually, no, it's more of a sort of jady green, isn't it, than an aqua. I suppose we've got the blue, but that's more of a pale blue and that little red star in the middle. But yeah, as you can see, look, it is sealed. Um, it's not cracking. It's not... Um, it's still really flexible, so yeah, ceiling hasn't dulled it and it's still very, very uh, movable. So yeah, okay, so let's have a quick look at these gems. I think these again were mainly crystals. Oops, so uh, hot pink and oh, these colours were just magnificent, just wonderful. Uh, I'm not really a huge mandala fan, if I'm honest, but that just really does appeal to me. I love those colours. So we've got a red marquee, we've got one orange left there, one orange teardrop, and then those blue, again, no gem codes. They will all go in my donations pile, and we've just got these few to kick down. So I will grab my box and we'll have a look at these. Right, uh, let me just move Owl out of the way. I feel as though I want my Owl on my desk. It's just going to sit in the corner on my desk there for now so I can see it. 
because it's so pretty. Okay, let's just get these a special box. Right, so we have two blues, rounds and marquees. We have one red, one orange and three miscellaneous pinks to put away. Oops, let me move them across so you can see them. Otherwise, it's pointless videoing it, Liz, if nobody can see anything. <laughs> and then two ABs to go away as well. So, shall we do the pinks first? Yeah, and I'm going to need some bags because there's definitely some new ones there. I won't be putting any numbers on them, unfortunately, because there wasn't any gem codes to go on the bags. But we will get there eventually. We will get them. Right, so we want pink miscellaneous. Let's put these away first because these are the exciting ones. Okay, so wow. Oh, there's another one there. <gasps> That's the pink hearts look. I thought we'd probably had those pink hearts before. So all I do with these, this is um, based on Rebecca Admore Zest's storage system for her regular gems. And all I've done is now put them into colour order. So I've got silver, gold, yellow, black, white, green, blue, pink, red, purple and orange. And orange incorporates browns as well. So any special shaped gems I get or larger rounds, anything larger than your standard crystal. These are sort of your standard crystal size. Anything larger than that, go into these special drills. And I have them categorised into um, larger rounds, marquees, teardrops, and then miscellaneous. And miscellaneous, as you'll see, is anything from stars, hearts, flowers, um, anything that doesn't fit the other three categories. Look at those pretty flowers. And uh, they all just go in this box here. So, oh yeah, I have got some of those. I did think I had some of those, but I know I've definitely not got any of those. So that's one new one. So, and then all I do, if I haven't got any gem codes on them, um, is just colour match them and shape match them into whichever one. So I've got like with like. So if I then decide, oh, I want to do a project and uh, I need some, say, uh, pink, well, pink hearts, I can then look and I can see how many I've got rather than having to look through lots and lots of different bags and think, oh, no, you know, how many... Ha oh, there's the miscellaneous. It's gone underneath the red sign. Look, silly Liz. Um, so I know how many I've got because all of the ones I've got are all together. They're not in all separate little bags that I have to go through. So it just makes it that little bit easier to find things. OK, so they can go in there like that. And then they can go in with this one. Very pretty, like bubblegum pink on one side and then like a very pale pink with a star stamp twin to it on the other side. Go on, let everybody out. Everybody out. Goodness me. Didn't, oh, look, we've got one still left. Come on, don't you want to join your friends? That's it. Get in there. I have enough with a Scottish Terrier that doesn't like to do what she's told, so I don't want gems playing me up as well. <laughs> Okay, right, so that's two of those gems with those little pink and white hearts on. I absolutely love those. Really have never seen anything like that before. Just so pretty. So I don't know what I would use those on. I know but certainly with my card making days, they would never definitely have gone as uh, an embellishment on a card. So yeah, a crafter never wastes anything. Well, I try not to anyway. Right, so let's have a look in red because that's the next one. Go along this row as we're here already. And these are little red marquees. So we're looking red marquees. Um, I've tried to put, a, well, I've put a card in for each of the categories. So each one of the colours then has an extra card in for large rounds, marquees, teardrops and miscellaneous. So I can sort of categorise them a little bit, try and sort them out a little bit. Okay, so where's the teardrops? There's teardrops. So I just want the marquees out the middle there. And they're the little tiny red ones. And I think they've got facets on. Or have they? Oh, I don't think. Oh, I think, yes, they have. Oh, that's the orange one. Go out of the way, orange. Don't be getting in with the reds. <laughs> getting into the wrong crowd. <laughs> oh, look, we've got a sort of a ready pink one there. How's that ended up in there? Hang on. And it's come right to the top as well. It's like it's saying, I'm not in the right bag. Get me out. Yeah, that's a pink one. How strange. Right, so are they those? 
let me have a look they do look the same they're definitely the same size these look a little bit deeper color oh no that's yeah they're definitely those so we will put those in with their friends not many of them but uh, they will all up these bags are awful to open these are the sort of really thin uh, little ziploc bags and uh, yeah they well grip seal aren't they um and they really don't open very well at all oh, it's just got a gem in the bottom there that's okay so that's the red ones right and put that back in oops marquees it's red liz not pink don't be putting it back in the wrong one <laughs> so let me look at this one so I think that's sort of a pinky reddy colour, so I don't know, large rounds. Let's look in pink and see whether it's, or is it orange? Yeah, I think actually I've probably muddled up the pinky reddy ones and the orange ones together. Um, but that's okay, as long as I know where they are, because look, we can see some in there that are the same colour. So he must have just escaped out of there, he's been and had a... A visit in the red ones so anyways back in his right one now that's okay <laughs> oh dear me right i've got gems escaping and then we want to be in blue oh orange orange is the next one so oh we've just been in orange so we want orange teardrops and i know we only have uh, a couple of orange teardrops which are those definitely not that one so we've got a new one Ooh. don't get many orange don't get many purple actually either i don't seem to have many purple special drills it's mainly red gold and silver um and then we've got a lot of blue as well but uh, yeah the different colors i suppose it depends what colors are on your canvas um red gold and silver tend to be the most popular but i suppose they're like the christmasy type colors Right, so now we want blue large rounds. So we've just been talking about blue and how many there is. So let's get these out. I suppose because there's so many shades of blue, you get like the aqua and the um, darker blues and things. So we want like a medium blue with facets on. They've not got any facets on. Uh, possibly, possibly could be those. Definitely the right size. But look at all the different shades, all the different blues. Oh, that one's only got one in it. Oh, I don't like leaving one on its own. It seems as though it's a little bit sad. <laughs> can you feel sad for gems? Well, if you call Liz, I suppose you can. <laughs> yeah, they're the big ones. I think they are definitely those. So pop those back into there. Okay. Yeah, they are. They're the same, so we'll put those in there. They're different. No, it's just the way that the light's shining on them. They look as though they've got like a circle on the top. They are slightly different. Yeah, look, they've got slight... Yeah, they've got... Oh, no, they are the same. Yeah, just ignore me, they are the same. It looked as though they had like a circle in the middle rather than, you know, sort of coming to a point. But no, they are the same as the others. It's just the way the light's catching them. Now I can't get in this bag. Come on, open up. Oh, that's because I'm looking at the wrong side. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, that's those put away. And blue large rounds. And then we want blue marquees. So this is getting very tatty. I do need to sort this box out and spread it into an extra one. Oh, are they the right ones? Looks like we've found the right ones. Must be very popular, that one, because uh, I've just picked up from the front. I usually put them back in the front, the ones that I've last kitted down. So must be the same ones. Okay, so I didn't need that bag. I only needed the in one extra today, or two extra, because we had the orange one as well, didn't we? And those little hearts. So sweet, those little hearts. Oh, I've got an escapee. Right. Come on, where are you? Come back here. Um, see, I have put it at the front, but it's hiding at the front. Hiding right next to the card. So, right. 
one tried to get away, look. But it can go in with its friends. They're all trying to escape today. Must be because it's spring. They're all getting itchy feet and wanting to run off. <laughs> all right, so that's that box finished with. And then I want my ABs. So, again, these didn't have any numbers on them, but I'll see if I can colour match. I mean, obviously, I can colour match the white. So, I have just used a huge amount of white on my Easter egg that I did for Easter. The large egg, the uh, making up and kitting down of that one. The video is available. Uh, yeah, so that's that one in there. So, yeah, I like to keep all my ABs separate. If I do get... Um, a DMC code on them I put the DMC code on it otherwise I just have them as like generic colours I think that is is that that one it's not the darker one is it no 444 four, four. I think it's that one mm, mm, no I think that's a darker colour no that's a different one okay let's see what we've got in the other yellows no it's not that one that's more of an orangey colour that's a very pale one um, and that's a very acidic one look that's like more like a limey green lemon that one so ooh, okay oh what's that one? Oh, it's that one yay we found one right yay <laughs> we got there in the end i was just thinking i'm gonna have to get a new little container but no nope. We found its friends. It can go in that one there. Go on, out you get. That's it. So that's those. And pop those back away. So a huge thank you, FG Normal, for sending me these. I love the owl. He has come out so well. And I'm so pleased I got it. Really nice. All the drills just look so good. And as I say, they have been sealed. So you can see it's not dulled any sparkle whatsoever. It's still gorgeous. And then this lovely um, armrest mandala, sort of car armrest or wherever you want to use it. So I will use that and let you know the results. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed this little kitten down with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.